Oh, the fox not boxing? <laughs> No, he got through training last night and looked really good, so as long as he gets through today, uh, he'll be out there. What does he have to do at training today to get through? Oh, he just has to yeah, get through our session, which is, is not too much. It's pretty light today and um, you know, really happy that he got through this week. And He's probably a week ahead of schedule, but um, you know, he's put in a lot of hard work and to put himself in this position, so we're, we're really excited to have him back in the team. Um, and just his experience and communication will add a lot to us. There's a fair bit about him, doesn't it? Because at one point down at the club, we're saying next month too, right? So it's, whether it's one week, three weeks, it's a fair bit ahead. Yeah, we were sort of hoping uh, for next week when he first got diagnosed with the injury, but, um, you know, straight away he said he'd come back earlier. He's had a really positive mindset towards it, and um, he's definitely put in a lot of hard work. He's been here, you know, longer hours than anyone, and, and doing um, everything possible and ticking every box to get himself back on the field. So it just shows how much he wants to help the team and you know how much he's grown as a person. It um, just shows like the, the colour of play that you guys have brought to the Bulldogs because that in itself, for the younger ones to look up at that and see how that's all unfolded, it's a, it's a you know, good example to be seeing. Yeah, he's, uh, Fox has joined the leadership group this year and I've got to say, over the last five weeks, his leadership's gone to another level. Um, just because he hasn't been on the field, he's, he's been able to contribute in team meetings and his experience and his knowledge of the game. So um, we're really, uh, really happy with what he's been doing off the field, but we're, we're certainly excited to get him back on the field. It's really hard for us because we've always seen so jovial, loud. I mean, he says himself he's got ADHD, the last, the whole lot. Is there a really serious side to him? He's a winner. Um, he wants to win. He wants to prepare to win and he wants to compete to win. And, they're the sort of people that we want to have at the Bulldogs and he's certain, certainly leading the way in that area at the moment and he's dragging a few guys along with him so um, I just love that he's a winner and he wants to get out there and compete to win. Was, was, it, was it hard to hold him back until even this week because I think I saw him at the Sharks game and he said look at me bro, look at me bro and he was like trying to run there. That was three weeks ago. Yeah he was very positive but you know, that positivity went too far sometimes but um, no, it hasn't been hard to hold him back. We've had a plan in place with the rehab and our rehab team's done an unreal job, um, our high performance team as well. So um, there was a plan in place, whether it was this week or, or next week, you know, we were, um, yeah, we were going to stick to the plan and uh, we're just excited that hopefully he'll be out there tomorrow. Is two weeks enough for him to get his set of Origin jersey back? Do you, do you think he'll be ready for the Origin? Well, I think everyone knows what Fox can bring. Um, and I think he, if he goes out there in the next two weeks and does what we know Fox can do, then he'll put himself in the frame. But, you know, he's openly said he just wants to get his job done for the Bulldogs and good things will come off the back of that. And um, he, he's coming back for the right reasons. He's coming back to help the team. And, um, yeah, he's, he's in a really good space. You'd be like any sort of coach this time of year, bracing yourself, losing players to Origin mode. It's a, it's a tough one. This is, probably, this is the first time this has happened to you. Yeah, I haven't really thought about it too much at the moment. Um, you know, we've got a couple of players there that if if they do what we know they can do over the next two weeks, then they put themselves right in the frame, and that's a good thing for our team. If um, if they're playing at that high level um, or at that high standard to put themselves at, in the frame, then that's a good thing for us. And I know every time that players go into that um, Origin arena, they come back better players and come back uh, with lessons for their teammates. So you know, we're always always excited and hopeful that our players will get in that arena. But you know, they're all pretty pretty. Um, concentrating right now on getting their job done for the Bulldogs. How yeah, about the rebound in Cameron? We had Ray here talking the other day saying he was embarrassed by what happened last Friday night. How have they rebounded and reacted on that? No, they've been good. Um, yeah, obviously the review was pretty hard to sit through for them and um, you know, they, they prepared really well for that game. We're excited about going up to Magic Round and you know, we had a really good opportunity to go five and five up there and, and we just didn't get it done. So, um, you know, they were obviously disappointed. Um, not so much with the result, but the performance, and um, we've had a good week of training to get that right. But um, you know, it's, it's we, we get judged on how we go out there tomorrow and how we perform, and um, I'm pretty confident they'll go out there and, and get their jobs done tomorrow. Can I ask about your halves? How long do you envisage the plan of having Josh start with Matt and then Carl come off the bench? Go for is that, is that a long term thing, or do you think we're in a pretty short period we'll see Carl begin starting? Oh, it's week by week at the moment. Um, right now, we think Josh's experience and his, his level of competitiveness is is the best thing for our team. Um, and he's, he's doing a really good job uh, getting games set up for us. Although last week, it wasn't it wasn't how we wanted it to look. Josh was definitely um, helping us navigate through that period and getting us back on track. And Carl's, Carl's young, he's only 18, but he's, he's certainly taking a lot of lessons on board um, in the time he's playing at the moment. He's, he's building that, that knowledge base. So. Um, yeah, we're excited about what the future holds, but right now what's best for our team is is Grubb starting in that position and easing Carl into the game.
you've been around a lot of young grass right in your time as a coach at a Penrith and whatnot. Do you think that that development of coming through off the bench in first grade for, is the best way to do it for a half? Like, is that something you've sort of come up with in your mind over the last couple of years? It's the best way to do it for us right now. Um, everyone's different. You know, the halves I've worked with before, you know, they didn't do that. But right now, for our team and our club and and who we've got playing, that's what's best for us. Yeah, so I guess well, okay, it's, it's more of a team decision than a Carl decision, like as far as this, why you're doing it. Yeah, like Carl's, we, we're a pretty young team. We don't have a lot of experience in our team right now. Um, we're also missing a couple of players, a couple of older heads. So for us right now, to ease Carl into his, his NRL career is, is best coming off the bench. But, um, you know, that, that can accelerate pretty quickly depending on how our team's looking and how Carl's going individually. But um, yeah, this week, it's, that's the best thing for us. Hey, can I ask you a broader question? Just this season, we've seen it feels like the NRL is a lot more unpredictable than what it has been in the last two or three years. Like, is there anything that you look at and you think might be the reason behind that compared to what it was like, say, 2020 through 2022? Um, no, nah, yeah, I don't know. It's just I haven't been too worried about you know, trends going on and stuff. Just I'm more concerned about our unpredictability throughout throughout games and periods. So. Um, you know what we're working towards is is more consistent performance, and um, I know if we can get that, then then we're going to be hard to beat. With the Warriors, you obviously know Andrew Webster's game like nobody else. Oh, not really. <laughs> no, well, you you know what he'll be looking for. Bit yeah, of, I guess there's a bit of ego involved in this one, but you know. No, there's no ego. I'm not going on the field. Um, you know what we're after. This is our eleventh uh, game together, and we're about getting better every week. So. Um, Disappointed in how we played last week, and we want to go better than that. And um, you know, I'm, I'm sure the way the guys are prepared and and the way they look, and they'll be ready to go out there and give it their all tomorrow. Five or six weeks ago, was a bit of Sean Johnson magic got you late. Does that still sting? And I suppose what did you learn about the Warriors that you can bring into this one? Yeah, we, in that game, you know, over in New Zealand, there was a lot of things we did really well. We, um, you know, we were competing for long periods, and then at the, in the last 15 minutes. Sean Johnson stepped up and owned that game and you know, credit to him and the way he's been playing. So um, we did learn some things in that game. We, you know, we obviously had some things go against us and um, you know, had, to, had to show a bit of grit to stay in it. But in the, in the, at the end of the day, the last 15 minutes were Sean Johnson's and not ours. So um, there are things we've taken out of that game, but I look back on that, it was seven weeks ago and I feel like we're doing a lot of things better than back then and, and so are they. So it's going to be a totally different game tomorrow. Um, you know, we want to turn it into our style of game and, and play how we want to play, which we certainly didn't do last week. So, um, yeah, at the moment, I'm not going to think too much about round four or about the Warriors. It's about us getting back on track.